Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm bringing you this beautiful glowy glam. I decided to recreate one of the looks that Kim Kardashian wore during Paris Fashion Week. I just got my hands on the Master Palette by Mario so I felt that it was so appropriate. This is the first of many looks I'm going to create with this palette. It's slowly becoming my favorite palette. I cannot put it down. I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial and learn a lot. Make sure to stay tuned. Alright guys, let's get started with the tutorials. So first things first, I'm going to grab my Morphe M532 crease brush. I'm going to grab my Master Palette by Mario and the first shade I'm going to use is Isabel. Starting from the outer corner, I'm just going to really work that color into the crease. Going from tear duct to outer corner, you just really want to saturate the lid with that color just to create the perfect transition shade. For the next step, I'm going to grab the shade Violetta, and I'm going to use a more small tapered brush. This is the Morphe M507. Next, with the eyes open, you want to directly place that color only into the crease. That's why I switched to a smaller brush, because I really wanted to create this soft, smoky effect, but I didn't want it to get too blown out or too dramatic, so that's why I kept it only in the crease area. Since her eye is open, I can really see exactly where her crease is, and my placement is dead on point. Try this tip at home, and you'll see it works every time. Next, grabbing my Morphe M514, I'm just going to go in with the shade Isabel one more time, just to diffuse any harsh lines and soften up any edges, also to bring back some warmth. I feel like the brown made things a little too dark, so I wanted to make things a little bit more warm toned again. Next, I'm going to grab my Sephora Pro number 15 brush in the shade Kim. Next, to really make that shadow pop, I'm going to grab my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix, and I'm going to spray that shadow just to really intensify the payoff and make it really metallic. This is going to give the eyes a really beautiful dewy effect. As you can see, to apply that shadow, all I'm doing is using a pressing and tapping motion. Next, for mascara today, I'm going to use my Benefit Roller Lash. This is going to give her lots of length and a really wispy effect. Next, I'm going to grab my Lancome Grandiose Liner, literally my obsession for liner at the moment. There's nothing like it. As you can see, it kind of clicks to swivel on the side. It has a razor point tip, and I love the precision that it gives me. For me, I have issues with liner even to this day, but this liner works with you guys, not against you. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. For eyelashes, today I'm going to use my Lash Sins in the Style Wrath. I'm not going to get too in-depth with how I apply the lashes. If you want a more in-depth tutorial, click the link in my description box and it will take you right to that video. For eyeliner today, I'm going to use Makeup Forever in the shade M10. When it comes to this step, you guys, don't be scared. Just go for it. I'm going to go in really heavy with this one. I really want that intense saturation when it comes to the waterline because it really gives the eyes this sexy, sultry appearance. I grab my Morphe M562 in the shade Isabel. I'm going to use Isabel all over the lower lash line from the outer corner right back into the tear duct area. You want to go in pretty heavy with this color because you want to create the perfect amount of the transition shade that we're looking for here. So don't be afraid to go a little bit more heavy with it guys. And also don't forget to connect those little corners to make the eyes appear more round. Next, switching to my Chanel number 14 brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Violetta. This color I'm going to focus only in between those lashes. As you can see, I use short little wiggling motions to really get in those lashes. I want all of that dark brown to be there because it's going to create the perfect base for the color we're going to use next. Next, with my Zueva 230 brush, I'm going to go in with the color Kim. To intensify that color, I'm going to spray it with Mist and Fix and then drag it directly on top of that brown eyeshadow and you're going to see that it really pops. Then I'm going to go directly on top of that first layer with a second layer just to really set it and make sure it stays in place. Next with my Sephora Pro number 18 shader, I'm going to grab the shade Fifth Ave. Next, using only the tip of the brush to give you a very precise application. As you can see, using just the edge, I'm really placing that directly into her lash line and then directly into that tear duct. With this, I really didn't want it to get sloppy and choppy and all over the place. I really wanted precision, so that's why I used the smallest brush I had. 
Next, for the lower lashes, I'm using this Skinny Micro Mascara. I'm just going to go in pretty heavy with that because I wanted the lower lashes to be super spidery but not clumpy, so that's why I went with the Micro Mascara. It has such a fine tooth comb that the lashes don't get clumpy, they just get super exaggerated and very long. Next, to give the face a glow, I'm going to use Becca Champagne Pop, and I'm going to use my Morphe M501 Highlighting Brush. Next, I'm going to show you guys a really cool tip to make that highlighter pop. I'm going to grab my favorite setting spray at the moment, and this one is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. And I'm just going to spray this all over her face, going in pretty heavy with this mist just to make her skin really nice and dewy. And while her skin is dewy, you will actually apply the highlighter directly on top. It's going to immediately intensify the payoff. As you can see, it makes it really vibrant, and it gives the skin this really beautiful, like, wet glow. It's one of my favorite new tips that my friend Mia taught me. Ever since she taught me this, this, you guys, I have not stopped doing it because this glow is just too good to be true. The last and final step is just to apply some gloss on top of the lips. Today I'm using the Pat McGrath Clear Vinyl Gloss. Alright guys, that's a wrap. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot. As always, make sure to check the description box for everything that I use. Also, let me know what you want to see next. I am absolutely obsessed with this palette. I definitely want to create another video for you guys, but I don't know what direction I want to go in, so definitely give me some suggestions down below. I'll see you guys next week, same time, same place.